It's the most common form of cancer in the U.S., but skin cancer, it can be prevented. Yeah, most cancers of the skin are caused by too much exposure to ultraviolet light, and protecting your body from the sun can help. KPRC2 health reporter Haley Hernandez has the safest sunscreen practices for you and your family. Heading to the beach, the pool, or just itching to go outside, don't forget your sunscreen. Whether it happens to be sunscreens, uh, UPF clothing, shades, uh, sunglasses, all of these products are going to help you protect yourself from the ultraviolet rays and from the damage that UV rays can do to your skin. Dr. Susan Masick, a dermatologist at Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, says when it comes to a sunscreen or sunblock, you want a higher SPF. But, she says, once you get to 50, they're fairly equivalent and people tend to not put enough on. Use one to two ounces to cover your body. You want to uh, go ahead and apply about 20 minutes before you head outdoors. You want to reapply every two to three hours. And while spray sunscreens are convenient, there are downsides. Dr. Mastic says there's a danger of breathing in sprays aerosols and they may not be a full coverage. So you want to make sure even if you spray the sunscreen that you still rub it into the skin. If you're concerned about chemicals in sunscreen, sunblock is another option. Which are the natural ingredients, including titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. These are considered the mineral ingredients. These are physical blockers, so they basically reflect the sun rays off of the skin. Whatever sun protection is right for you, Dr. Masick says it's important to like it, so you'll be more likely to use it. Make sure you apply sun protection to areas you might not often think about, including the back of the neck, tops of ears, and hands and feet. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.